Okay, so the Compton restaurant is doing well, and you actually decide in 2013 to open this place Met in my, Hollywood. So James, James, my, my uh, call him Big Game James, was my uh, just a regular customer. Met him, uh, came in. I was about to do another deal with uh, another group I'm not going to mention. They had a big, huge check for me, and I got up and walked out because the one thing the guy said was, by then, I was almost 10 years in with blood sores. I done did the blood, sweat, and tears. And the guy said, uh, got behind me, grabbed my shoulder, you ready for some hard work? And I got up and walked out. <laughs> you know what I mean? And so then I got young James come at me. Young, he ain't got already no money. You know, where you want to be in five years and 10 years? Mm -hmm. You know, because like I said, as you expand, you have to have a good team with you. You have a good team, you got to have good family support, but you have to have a good team of where you want to go. I'm not married to this. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. I, I just kept it real. I didn't want to be in the kitchen till I'm 75 years old. That ain't me. I want to drink Hennessy. Right. And he owns a bunch of other restaurants as well. Yeah, so he has a restaurant group. And he's yeah. incredible. And he's a rides and star in this business. Nice, yeah. I, that's actually who I met, who yeah. I reached out to. And we hung out. We had some food. And yeah, he kind of told me the whole story behind it. Played uh, up, played actually, up. I guess when you guys met, uh, you told him, hey, I got a... Like a funeral to go to? No, my granny's 90th birthday party. Oh, birthday party. Sorry, and, my bad. And yeah. they showed up, him, Noah, and uh, Kevy showed up at the party. Right. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. And, and, and after that night, I told him I was fucking with him. Yep. Because they came, they was OG, they had a good time. I mean, James was OG. You know, he fucked with Baron Davis and everybody, he OG. Right. Hell of a point guard, that's why I called him Big Game James, you know? Right, because I guess uh, you took him around all the other kind of legendary Texas spots. And no, they was, went. I got you. they went. So let me tell you. So we sitting at the party that night, and I said, I'm going to get up with y'all. Mm -hmm. They party with us, drinking, granny them giving them moonshine and all that real moonshine. And they got up at 5 in the morning and, and knocking on my door, and I didn't get up. But they went to all the spots that day, you know. Right. And he told you at the end of all that that your barbecue is actually better than all yeah. these other spots. And yeah. that's why he wanted to work with yeah. you. Yeah, real talk. Okay. And you have this restaurant here. There's one in Santa Monica. One in Santa Monica. Okay. One at the Proud Bird. Okay. And uh, there was one in Australia at one point that opened. Yeah, but it closed up now. It closed down. Yeah, the pandemic, we didn't recover from the pandemic. Right. But they did the same thing. The, the guy came and uh, enjoyed the barbecue, went back. And uh, the owner, I forget his name, was like, no, I want to come do the, the, the tour. And uh, Peter Prince, and he said, okay. So they came and did the tour, went all over Kansas City, this and that, this and that. And how they be dissing West Coast barbecue. <laughs> uh, but then at his last stop, he brought them to Compton. Mm. And the guy fell in love with it. Yeah. Okay, this is who I want to work with. But he let him go through the whole thing, and the guy, why didn't you bring me here? He said, because I know you was reading all the hype and reading this and that, this and that, you know. No, but listen, I remember in 2013, that's when I first heard about Blood Sows. You know, I looked on Yelp, and we're just looking at cool barbecue spots. Like, oh, there's a place in, in Compton called Blood Sows. We're like joking, like, is there a Crip Sows, like across the street yeah, or something? Yeah. Like, when we went down there, man, the barbecue was phenomenal. Appreciate it. Phenomenal. Yeah. And I remember when you guys first opened this place, I went down here, you know what I mean? I had a bunch of hot links and, you know, the ribs and yeah. the, the huge, you know, that, that huge uh, beef rib the beef that rib, you guys yeah, had. Yeah, and yeah, I'm the, like, the yo, this is, this, is, yeah, this is special. And the sauce is really kind of different also. Mm -hmm. It's not the usual, it's just not the usual barbecue sauce. Nah, we, uh, so we had to like, so it was granny sauce from the beginning, but Texas sauce is real thin. Yeah. So we had to just thicken it up, but right. we didn't want the sauce to overpower the meat. Yeah. Yep. No, I love the, the spicy sauce, man. That's Appreciate my thing. It. That's I, my that, thing. That's what it's at. Well, and you started doing a lot more stuff. So in 2020, you became a judge on the Netflix series, American Barbecue Showdown. American Barbecue Showdown. Did that change things in terms of, I mean, that know, wasn't the first thing. The thing that really changed things was when I did my first Bar Rescue episode with John ah, Chapman. right. And that was, allow me to be me. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that was the first thing. And that just opened up the doors for so many other shows, you know. And then now the showdown is just something incredible I do every year and it does well and I enjoy doing it. Yep. And you actually wrote a book recently. Wrote a book, a James Beard Award winning book. A James Beard Award. Like that is such a huge deal. Yeah. Were you remotely expecting this to happen nah, when you wrote it? No, nah, I didn't even, uh, like I didn't want to write a book. Noah and James, cause, cause like I say, we tell these stories and people think you lying. So I would like, hold up, y'all looking at me funny. Let me call somebody. And I'll call an uncle or auntie. You remember so and so? Oh, how yeah, I remember. So. And they would tell the story. And and James was like, man, you got to put this in a book. Like your memoirs, you got to put them in a book. And we wanted to do such a different book. Like I said, I wanted. I remember our uh, publishing company fought us on the cover. 
you know, I wanted to keep it gangster, but I wanted to keep it country. You know yeah. what CC Rider mean, you know, yeah. Compton, whatever. But right. I did CC Rider, of course, the kind of Compton. Okay. And flipped it over and, and they went crazy, you know? Wait, James Beard Award is a huge deal. A huge deal. So that and three times, Vlad, we were the number one book on Amazon. Nice. Overall, overall, not just cookbook. Really? Three times we the number, in June when the book first came out, came out, we were over Dr. Seuss as the number one book on Amazon. More than Dr. Seuss. In June. That's wild. That's wild. Yeah. So you personally, you still eat barbecue? Yeah, yeah, I still okay. like barbecue. What are your favorite dishes here? I love the brisket, I love the ribs, I love all that. I, okay. I mainly love the, the cocktails though. Okay. 